for those who don't know me. Hajime Mashte is the Tokyo Gaijin rapper bait. Oh. <laughs> okay, Why is it I can't talk and walk at the same time? <laughs> Welcome to my hometown, Togoshi Ginza, baby. I'm gonna show you guys what's up. Take a walk with me. The reason I'm in Japan right now is probably goes back to the first time I ever saw Ryzen concert. The first time I saw Ryzen concert was in 2003 in San Diego, back when Ryze opened for the Cottonmouth Kings at, the, at Kane's Bar and Grill in San Diego. And so after I bought the CD, I took the CD to school, my, one of my college classes, and I, and I found a Japanese kid in my class, and I asked him if he could help me understand what the lyrics were saying on the CD. And so I found, he, I found out that he couldn't speak any English as well as I couldn't speak any Japanese, so there's no form of communicating at all. And I was just like, oh, whatever, you know, forget about it. But the next class, he brought me a Rise Natural Vibes sticker, and he gave it to me. And it was that day I knew that like, I just made a new friend. Right, and then after that, me and him went skate. We'd go skateboarding every day, and I'd show him American culture. He'd, in return, show me Japanese culture. So I decided I was just gonna start learning Japanese in school, just so I could talk to my friend. For those who don't know me, Hajime Mashte, it's the super gaijin Allen on the streets of Togoshi. I love Japan and all my tomodachi, and I'm starting to think that I'll never return to Cali, cause Japan's the type of place where dreams come true, and it pays to be ambitious with the boys in your crew. Lucky for me though, I roll deep, eat some old tanoshi, and I'm not just fucking saying that cause charges my laundry. In 2003, I bought a Rise CD, that changed my fucking life, created Nezumi Kozo in Japan, now I'm never going leave, I'm Tensai fucking Baka baby, because of Jesse, so you see me on the streets and you wanna be down just say what's up to your boy i'll be glad to turn around there's one more fucking thing i want to say before i end of the flow i love we all japan tv show you know uh it's kind of a funny story i fucking uh i, I put my my original demo tape inside a bunch of empty porno cases and i threw the porno cases out in the crowd and everybody's like so shocked you know who the fuck is this guy you throwing porno you know some people was like hitting them in the faces and shit with DVD cases. It was great, man. It was so fun, man. Well, my music is kind of a cross between the Insane Clown Posse and Rise. So you take you take the the dirty, fucking funny music of the Insane Clown Posse, and you mix it with the funny ass Japanese music of Rise, and you get Nezumi Kozo. Nezumi Kozo is was a real person who lived in the Sengoku Jidai era, and his, his real name his real name was Jiro Kichi, and he was a he was a person kind of like the American version of Robin Hood where he stole, he would steal from the rich daimyo and he'd give to the poor people. And it'd be food or money or whatever. And so when I was looking for a Japanese rap name, I came across Nizumi Kozo in the history book. And I was like, yo, that's totally my style of making music. You know, when I make music, it's all about stealing the beats and distributing free CDs. Because music is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be about the money. So, steal from the rich, give to the poor, baby. Yo, yo, it's Fair representing for GI Code, baby. We in Togoshi, Japan with some crazy gaijins, you know what I'm saying? They're fucking crazy. Don't touch them, don't <laughs> yell at them, don't do nothing. Because they're fucking crazy, alright? GI Code, Togoshi, baby. It's a Matsuri. Matsuri. <laughs> Ow! Togoshi, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm a high, oh. Yay, yay! Togoshi has become my new home, man. Uh, for real, the, the people in this town have really taken me in and been so nice to me and fucking 
not one person has been fucking disrespectful to me whatsoever, which is so surprising because there's not a lot of gaijin in this town, you know? Uh, but at the same time, like, not one of these people has ever given me a fucking mean look or, or said anything negative to me. In fact, they've all welcomed me into their fucking homes. You know, sometimes on a hot day, the, I've had people give me water, from, just come out of their house and give me water. Or, you know, I've just random ass shit like that, man. Or they give me fucking the, the, the omori portion at the fucking Jujiyaki place. Just because I, I, they yeah. fucking know me, you know what I mean? This is home, man. Everybody knows me around here. Just as the crazy guys you man, you know? And plus it, you know, it really helps having a guy like Char up the hill here who can, you know, he takes care of me, you know, when, if, I, if I'm hungry or if I'm sick or anything. You know, he's been a real big help for me, man. It's almost like having a, a Japanese Otosan, you know? Hello, my name is Char. I am uh, Alan Landori man. <laughs> uh, I wash everything. Underwear, socks, dirty t shirt. <laughs> you never smell my underwear, did you? Uh, well, actually, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> Yo. We all Japan TV, thanks for spending the day with Nizumi Kozo. I appreciate the love you guys are showing me. And next time you're in Togoshi Ginza, say what's up to me or any of my boys at Takenaka Sound Shop. We all fucking cool peeps, all right? T gotta go. Bye. Jesse say what up brother? What up boys? Oh yeah, dude. What up, boys? That's Rato. Right, I owe it all to this motherfucker too. Funny, holy shit. And look at his hair, look at his hair. Yeah. I got the Moja Mojas. <laughs> Ladies, heartbreaker. <laughs> <laughs>